Hello guys and gals and welcome to another episode of Rune Words. I got the sun on my head today. Got a little, a little crown going on. Uh, <laughs> the uh, We finally got information on the uh, new Rune Word uh, Plague uh, when, and its final iteration. And uh, it was hosted by uh, Trix over on uh, Twitch and uh, she has it up on her YouTube page too if you want to take a look. Uh, but I am actually going to go over the Rune Word together with you guys. And, uh, and I also have it available for you to download so you can play around with it. Uh, so check down in the description below and you will find a, a, a link to a file that has the character on it that you can, uh, you can play around with it. But let's go over it together and let's have some fun uh, figuring out what this Rune Word is good for. And I've completely hit myself away because we had some information before on Plague. It was a rune word that used to be in the game a long time ago, but never actually got like added in completely. And um, so now we have, you know, full information on it. We have the, the sort of, you know, the the definitive, definitive version, I suppose you could say. And, uh, and let's go over it together and let's see what it could be used for. Um, so Trick said that it is in swords only, uh, which means that... Um, that is rather limiting. I was actually pretty excited about maybe making this in a dagger, but uh, but I guess that's not going to be the case. Uh, we also have uh, Sham Shale Um. So they changed out the Fal Rune for a Shale Rune, which is kind of nice because that does add the increased attack speed on the item, which is pretty cool. And um, we also have a... Uh, a change here of the damage. So before it was 260 to 380% damage to demons, and they changed it to enhanced damage, which is a very welcome change in my opinion, because that makes it much more uh, viable for a lot of characters. Um, they also increased the deadly strike from 29.7 uh, at level 99 to 37% at level 99. Uh, so that's very interesting. Uh, and uh, and most of the weapon is the same, but um, you know it, it still looks like a very interesting choice for perhaps a, um, a zeal paladin who is... Um, just trying to have some fun with lower resistance. Um, you could also be putting this on a rabies druid. I feel like this is a pretty solid choice for a rabies druid because not only is it actually going to do damage, uh, but you also have the negative poison resistance, the deadly strike, the open wounds, uh, and the freezes target, all of which on there are going to help out the... Um, the rabies druid, as well as the lower resistance, uh, which is a pretty hefty thing there. Um, and if you combine the lower resistance negative with the enemy poison resistance negative, you're going to be looking at a really nice amount of negative enemy poison resistance. Um, in fact, let's go ahead and look up uh, lower resistance and uh, let's see what lower resistance has at level 12. Uh, so we can get an idea of the total of... Um, you know, what lower resistance can do plus the negative enemy poison resistance. Uh, so at level 12, we are looking at a duration of 42 seconds, which is extremely long. Uh, it has a radius of 12 yards, which means it's probably going to hit just about everything within like a pretty large circle around the monster. To give you an, an, an idea of how big the radius of 13 yards is, uh, Conviction has a radius of 13 yards, and this is 12. So only one yard shy of the same radius that Conviction has, which is pretty pretty ridiculous. So it's going to hit just about everything on the screen around it. Uh, duration is 42 seconds, which is pretty amazing. And then, of course, it has negative 57% to all resistances, which includes poison. And then we add together the negative enemy poison resistance on the weapon, because it does stack. <coughs> and we're looking at... Um, what is that? Uh, 57 plus 23. So we're looking at negative 80% on a monster that's not immune to poison, which is pretty darn cool. Um, the other interesting thing here is that um, it will help out with the monsters that get their immunity broken. So let's say you are fighting a monster who is immune to poison and the lower resist breaks the poison resistance. The negative 23 enemy poison resistance will help reduce those monsters further, which is really nice. Uh, it is important to note that the negative poison resistance does not break immunities. So uh, if, a, if a monster is immune to poison, it's not going to make the monster not immune to it, but the lower resist will which is awesome in my opinion. Uh, we also have the Cleansing Aura, which is pretty darn sweet. And um, the really cool thing about the Cleansing Aura is it reduces curse duration and all sorts of interesting things. 
So let's take a look at uh, Cleansing Aura real quick, and we'll see what level 14 Cleansing Aura does. So Cleansing Aura is a Paladin Aura, which uh, at level 14 has a radius of 28 yards, which is kind of ridiculous, and uh, a duration of curse reduction of 76%, as well as the um, the poison. So poison and curses get reduced by 76%. That's pretty, pretty ridiculous. Um, and the funny thing about this is because it's in a sword and because it is an aura given by an item, one particular class in the game, the Barbarians, actually can utilize this uh, uh, in a dual form if they wanted to, just for lulls. And um, that means that it would be, at what, level 28? Um, <laughs> level 28 cleansing aura, which is uh, which is pretty ridiculous. And to figure out what level 28 cleansing aura can do, I'm going to have to go to Amazon Basin, uh, which is a website that lists all the levels all the way up to level 60. And um, at level 28, we are looking at a 46 and uh, and 46.33, no, no, 46.66 uh, yard radius, which is ridiculous. I'm pretty sure that's off the screen and anybody who's like literally inside the next screen over from you, which is which is kind of ridiculous. And uh, it reduces poison length and curses by 84%. Um, so if you were to dual wield two of these, and I know you probably wouldn't because that's silly, but if you were to dual wield two of these, um, it would probably be... <laughs> uh, the end of all poison and curses for your particular character. Like any monster that curses you or poisons you, uh, you would you would pretty much cleanse it almost immediately with a uh, with an eighty eighty four percent reduction in all of that. And this could actually be combined with fade uh, to even further increase the curse and poison reduction. Um, Maybe if you were fighting a rabies druid in PvP, this could be uh, very effective for you. Uh, and forty six and uh, forty six point six six yards is is kind of ridiculous as well as far as the the size of the aura. Um, I'm kind of glad that they added the uh, twenty percent faster attack speed on there. Uh, the shale rune they changed the foul out for the shale, and um, and the open wounds is is definitely welcome on this item. So I mean we've got a lot of, of of really nice effects here. We have the poison nova, which is of course doing the poison damage. We've got the lore resist, which is helping the poison damage. We've got the plus one to all skills, the twenty percent increased attack speed, and they added the um, enhanced damage, which is very very nice which means that now it actually does damage, whereas before, um, in its previous iteration, it did not do any real physical damage. Um, so it's nice that it actually does physical damage now. Uh, it has the negative enemy poison resistance, which of course buffs up the poison nova, and, uh, and of course is also buffed up by the lower resistance. So we've got two buffs to the poison damage on this. And then the deadly strike and the open wounds are definitely welcome. And of course the freezes target on this will make it a um, controversial item. Uh, those characters who need freezes target and those characters who don't want freezes target. So like if you're a, a necromancer, uh, any character that has any kind of basically, um, you know, like horking or, uh, or, or use of corpses, corpse explosion, summoning skeletons, etc. You're probably not going to want this particular item. But, uh, but those of you who do not care about the corpses, uh, this is going to be really, really nice. And I think, I think quite honestly, the main character that this is going to be useful for is a rabies druid. But I do also see some opportunity uh, because of the lower resistance proc for it to be useful on, for, for instance, a, uh, maybe a Dream Paladin, a Zeal Paladin utilizing high amounts of elemental damage, uh, basically the same kind of concept as a Dream Paladin, like a Dragon Paladin, Holy Freeze Paladin, uh, etc. And they have talked about beefing up the uh, Holy Freeze, Holy Fire, and Holy Shock auras, so it could be interesting to utilize this with those. Um, we also have the... Um, the mercenary to consider. So the lower resistance proc could be used on a mercenary. You could put this on either an Act 3 or an Act 5 mercenary. Both of them have sword slots. And uh, you could just simply utilize them to get the lower resistance proc, which will happen fairly often. And uh, and of course, you would also get the very nice cleansing aura on top of that. And uh, and I feel like this is a really solid option for some barbarian mercenaries and uh, and maybe even an Act 3 mercenary should you, uh, should you want the lower resistance. And the lower resistance will synergize well with the Act 3 mercenaries because it will beef up their own damage as well. Um, having a level 12 lower resistance is obviously going to make them a little bit stronger and, uh, and we don't know exactly what they're going to be doing to the Act 3 mercenary so for all we know this uh, could be a really strong boon to the damage that they put out uh, which is pretty cool. 
So now, uh, without further ado, let's get into the actual uh, item. So I have actually prepared the item in advance for you guys. Uh, if you have it already checked down in the description, uh, the link is down there and you can download this item that I've created and, uh, and you can play around with it. So what I've done is I've actually created it in uh, three different bases. Uh, one is a phase blade. Uh, the other is a, uh, a Colossus blade. And then I also have made an ethereal version of the Colossus Blade uh, so that you guys can uh, can play around with all three of those. Um, and of course, you could dual wield them if you want to. You can uh, put them on a Barbarian, you can put them on a Necromancer, whatever you, whatever you specifically want to do with them, it's up to you. And I've also uh, put 440 stat points on here as well as 96 skill points um, and given him all the waypoints and everything so that you can play around with the character. Um, he also has uh, Jalal's Main, uh, Enigma, Mara's Spirits, things like that, just so that he he can actually get around and actually play. And uh, I also have a Barbarian Mercenary who uh, can utilize the Ethereal version. So the Ethereal version can go on the Barb Merc and you can play around with the Cleansing Aura and whatnot, uh, which is pretty cool. Now, the one thing that I was un unfortunately unable to do was um, fix the Deadly Strike. So when creating the item, I had a little bit of an issue with the Deadly Strike. It's the only thing that is not correct on this item, and, and it's rather unfortunate. But for some reason or another, Hero Editor does not let you put in fractions. And I'm sure that you know that um, the Deadly Strike by level is generally a fraction of you know, a number. So you go up by like 3.25 or something like that per level or 1.25 or, or whatever it happens to be. And uh, unfortunately, it did not allow me to do that. So this one is going to be 42% deadly strike, which is only a slightly higher percentage than the actual item, uh, which is 37%, uh, which isn't really going to make too much of a difference in the long run for testing purposes. I think you'll be fine just testing it with the uh, with the 42. Um, I was actually going to make it lower, but then I figured, you know, lower is probably not really very nice. Plus, you might also be utilizing this with a High Lord's Wrath and various other items. So, um, so I would consider just uh, simply not using the High Lord's Wrath and just considering the extra percentage on here to be, you know, to be that for right now. Um, you could also throw a High Lord's Wrath on there just to see what it's like to have really, really high Deadly Strike. Um, I'm also running Myrbidon, uh Greaves, which has some more Deadly Strike on it. So you've got 42% uh, and then the 15%. And uh, we're going to play around with it right now. Why not? So let's go ahead and throw some uh, Strength Points in. And, uh, and we'll have some fun messing around with this particular item. And have some fun. So I'm going to need uh, 189 Strength for the Colossus Blade. Ooh. That's a lot of strength. And I believe we've got it. And then we need 110 dex. Throw the rest into uh, the there. And now we have our Colossus Blade. So we're running... Um, let's run uh, Rabies. So that's, that's what we want to do, right? So we're going to go ahead and grab... Our, uh, our max rabies and then we're going to also grab poison creeper and then we might as well also grab um let's see let's grab the uh, the oak sage just for right now and uh, this is just going to be a bare bones setup nothing too super special about this and uh we'll have some fun with it And uh, let's go ahead and put some more points into Werewolf and Lycanthropy, just so we have tons and tons of HP. Should be running uh, some pretty nice hit point numbers. Yeah, 2,000. That's not, that's not terrible. And uh, we get our little Oak Sage running, and let's go, uh, let's go play around with some stuff. All right, so here we are in Frigid Highlands, and let's have some fun biting things, shall we? So uh, let's go ahead and put on the uh, so you know, let's put on the two-handed blade and let's give the uh, Colossus blade back to our mercenary. I forgot to actually give the mercenary some equipment. He'll be all right though. You can uh, you can give him yours. Ooh, that rabies is uh, it's nice and, and delicious. Ooh, and the lower resistance proc is great. I mean that happened pretty much right away. I mean, granted. I do have, of course, um, you know, the lower resistance on both of us, so we're both using the uh, the cleansing aura, 
And, uh, and and that is kind of a thing, you know. We both got it on, so we're both getting the effect, and uh, and uh, and and the both have the lower resistance procs, and we've we both have uh, the it going on right now, which is pretty good. And uh, it's, it's it's a lot. The uh, the rabies spreads really fast too. I'm actually really uh, digging the the, uh, the kind of damage that this is putting out. So the rear rig just drops on the ground. Okay, I'll take it. You need to go sign up. I don't even need it, but you know, whatever. Let's, uh, let's see how the mercenary takes out uh, Shank the Overseer. So he's running um, the ethereal version of this. Uh, let me see if I can move myself out of the way so you can look at the uh, statistics here. And of course, he's uh, he's over here murdering Shank while I'm uh, I'm doing this. Poor Shank. Uh, so we've got uh, he's got 1,284 to 2,360. He's not doing bad. Uh, the amount of damage on this thing is actually pretty sweet at 357 to 306 on the at the Colossus Blade. And um, not bad at all. Um, I don't know why the indestructible uh, mechanic is on there, but uh, I think it's uh, a side effect of using Hero Wetter. It likes to insert indestructible for some reason. It doesn't really matter anyway. This is just for testing purposes. And... Um, this particular item is, uh, it seems like it was almost designed for either a Barbarian Mercenary or perhaps an Act 3 Mercenary, so you can get the lower resistance. I do feel like the lower resistance works better with an Act 3 Mercenary because obviously it's going to beef up his damage as well as it's going to beef up yours. But, um, but usually when you're a caster type who needs a lower resistance, you need a... A tanking merc, right? And if you are a, uh, a melee character, you don't necessarily need a tanking merc, so you could go with an Act 3 merc. Um, so like, I, don't, I don't know, maybe this would be better um, utilized on an Act 3 merc if you were like a Conviction Paladin. Um, I actually have a Conviction Paladin, and uh, and I run Medusa's Gaze, but I could, uh, I could really be enticed to swapping out my Act 3 Mercenary's weapon for this one. Well, anyway, if you'd like to download the file, it is in the description. You can uh, check the link and uh, have fun playing around with this particular rune word. Uh, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos, and uh, keep watching.